Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you a brand new update that's being released around Megacamp here um, on how to set up client updates for your opportunities. So if you have not played with it quite yet, there are opportunity checklists. So checklists that you can have in each one of your opportunity phases and stages, okay, to keep you on track on what you need to do to prepare for that appointment or to uh, help get the listing active on the MLS and so forth. Okay, and now, instead of that just being an internal tracking system for you as the agent, now you can allow your uh, clients to receive updates when you complete those checklist items as well. So it's a great way to keep your clients updated on the progress that you're making and a great way to show them all the million things that a realtor does for them that maybe clients are not aware of, right? So let me take you through that. I'm going to take you through how to set up the default settings first for your opportunity, right? and I'll show you how this will work as we go through it. So first things first, make, make sure you're logged into command at agent.kw.com. Again, that's agent.kw.com. And that'll be the login for command. And feel free to pause the video if you're working on logging into command. Once you do that, you'll want to go ahead and click on the opportunities icon on the left-hand side command menu. So that's the icon that looks like a handshake on the left side menu. And once you do that, to edit the default settings of these client update notifications, we're going to click on the settings gear on the very top right of the opportunity section of command. So settings gear on the very top right. All right, and if you are on a team, you will have two options here. Your team name for settings for the client updates and then your own personal pipeline. All right, and so you can see we are in the client update settings and our command settings. So if you are not on a team, you will probably only see yourself, okay? Only the Rainmaker is able to edit the team settings, all right? So if that is grayed out for you, your Rainmaker will have to fill that out for the team settings. Right, or you can go ahead and click on your name to edit that for your pipeline. So you can see right here after we do these steps, okay, the client updates do not automatically go out. Right, you always have to manually turn on these client updates uh, for these to start sending. So by default, these are set to not go out. Um, however, I'm going to take you through the steps in order to turn those on, but again, that would have to be done in each individual opportunity. You would have to turn those on. <clears throat> all right, so coming down to the settings, first of all, we're deciding what time you want those to go out. Um, so I think I'll do 11 a.m. You'll see your time zone here as well. You can toggle that depending on where, when you want those client updates to go out. Selecting send from here, okay, that's going to be your marketing email address, your command email address that will send from. I, uh, when this really comes to play, the send from, if you are on a team, you can make the, the send from your Rainmaker or from the owner of the opportunities, command email. All right, the send to option here. So we can either leave that on cl client and co-client or just the primary client, right, depending on who you want to receive that. I'm gonna let both clients receive that. All right, I'll check that I also wanna have that sent to the owner that's talking about the owner of the opportunity, so I want that to CC me. All right, and we have that default email template set. Right, you can't change it right now. Again, all of these updates are as of uh, Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. So of course, KW is updating this all the time. So if yours looks slightly different, that might be why. But I would go ahead and click on preview right here to see what that looks like. I was pleasantly surprised at how great this looks. So of course, this is not your info. Right? This is uh, you know just an example for you. But all of this information will pull from the command marketing profile. All right, so you will want to double check your command marketing profile, but this is the client update uh, sheet that will go out. It'll be emailed out and it'll show all the checklist items that have been completed. All right, 
So now that I have, I have uh, the settings that I would like those to be, sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes on the very bottom of your screen, very bottom right. You should have Save Changes. And so the only feature that I saw that was slightly different for the team side, just a heads up if you're editing that as the Rainmaker, okay, in your team, all of those settings should be the same as we just talked about. The only extra field that you have is the also send to, instead of just owner, you also have the assignee option, okay, and that will CC all assignees on that opportunity as well. Just a heads up on that. So that's the main difference there for teams. All right, so the next thing that you'll have to do, after, make sure you click to save changes on the bottom right if you change anything. And then let's go back to your opportunity pipeline. So if you could follow me to the handshake icon on the left hand side. And you can go ahead and click on any of the opportunity phases to go ahead and open that up. All right, we're, we're looking for an opportunity that maybe you, or I'm sorry, an opportunity phase or stage that you may be already set up some to-do lists on. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment here. The first step is we click on a phase on our opportunity pipeline. So whether that be cultivate, appointment, active, so forth. And you'll notice that I do have um, some checklists already added in, right? You can see these numbers here. The, those are referring to the checklist. So in order to edit those checklists, maybe add more items and also determine which items you want your clients to receive notifications of you completing, we'll go ahead and click on edit stages on the very top right. So edit stages on the top right. And from there, you'll see the different opportunity stages. And you can edit those if needed on the right-hand side. So if you want to edit the names of these, you can click the pencil icon on the far right to edit the name. But where I'd like you to focus on is actually, wait, stay where you are. All right, so I'm just going back in. I set one up as an example for you guys I wanted to show you. Um, so now you should be looking at something similar as I'm looking at my screen. So again, you can edit any of these stage names by clicking on the pencil icon. You can also trash any of these, or add any for that matter. Um, but I'd like you to focus on the checklist column. So where it says probably zero out of zero if you have not edited this uh, quite yet. So you, this is all completely customizable. So if I click on that, say zero out of zero, or whatever that number might be, it'll show any checklist items that I had previously added in. So the idea is, okay, when um, this opportunity, right, this transaction is in an active, <clears throat> active phase, right, and my stage name is prepared to go live. So I'm trying to think of a checklist of items that I would do to help make the listing go live. All right, so I can add in my checklist items here. So whether that be, you know, add in the yard sign, put out my lockbox, market the listing through the KWS, create listing flyers, set open house just as some ideas. I can then determine on the right hand side which items I want by default to notify the client. So if, you know, on these checklists, maybe not all of those are meant for the client to see it. Um, in that case, I wouldn't check that box. So you can add to this checklist a variety of items that are meant for only you to see internally as the agent, and also items that you want the client to be notified of. And A, that's a great way to keep your client updated on the progress you're making, but B, it's a great way to show them all that you are doing. So feel free to, you know, add in all the different kinds of marketing that you do for their listing here. And what a great way to express the value that you are giving to them, that you're providing for them. All right, so you can do that as needed on the right-hand side. Right, and this is editable per opportunity. We are setting a default setting here. Um, so it'll be default like that on the opportunity. However, you can always edit this per opportunity. So I'll click on save. All right. So now that I have that saved, 
um, we can go ahead and do that for each opportunity. So you would have to do that for each opportunity phase and stage. So depending on which ones you have checklists for, you would have to go in and turn on the default for each one of those. Okay, just a heads up. So that's a great thing to do as you're going through and creating these checklist items. You can go ahead and determine, you know, if you want your client to be notified or not. All right, so lastly, um, I'm going to show you how to edit the client update preferences for a specific opportunity. So, so far we have set all our default settings for this new feature. However, depending on the opportunity, depending on the client, right, you might need to change some of your preferences for a specific transaction or opportunity. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how you would change that for the specific opportunity. Um, just a heads up, I just wanted to let you know that um, this email, I mean, as you've noticed, right, that settings, it shows that it will go out at 11 a.m. each day. All right, so it will notify them, um, in theory, each day at 11 a.m. of any change that you've made. Now, with that being said, um, if no change was made in the opportunity, so if you don't check off, anything on that checklist within 24 hours of when that is, that email is scheduled to be sent no email will go out okay so again if you do not check off anything on this checklist uh, within 24 hours of when that email is scheduled to go out uh, the client will not receive it until the next day all right so now how you would go about editing the preference for each opportunity specifically again if you run into that you want to change it for the opportunity itself what we'll do is you will go ahead and click on any of the opportunities that you want to edit so um, I'll go ahead and either click on all opportunities to pull up that opportunity or I can go ahead and click on my opportunity pipeline to open that up and I can simply click on the opportunity name to open the details Now from here, on the top right, you'll see client updates. So I can click on that. And this is where I can see the settings for this specific opportunity. Okay, so this is where I was talking about right here is the time that that email will send every day. This is pulling my default settings. However, I can change this for this opportunity. Right, and just to clarify, um, I know when I clicked on it, it was already turned on. I was practicing with it earlier, and that's why it was already turned on. I just want to stress that by default, they're all turned off. So let's just go to another one just to show you that. So by default, if I click on any opportunity and click on the client updates on the top right, it is automatically set to off. So each opportunity would have to be manually turned on in order for these updates to go out. All right, and once you turn it on, again, it'll show when that's going out. Another reminder that that email will not go out if you haven't checked off anything on the checklist within 24 hours of the scheduled email. It'll show who's sending the email, and that is talking about the owner of the opportunity, not the owner of the home. I know that's a little confusing. It'll show who it's sending to, Joey Tribbiani, all right, and I'll have uh, the seller and the owner being CC'd. Again, that is the owner of the opportunity. They can, you can also add a contact if you want someone else to be notified of these uh, client updates as well. And you can preview the template. And also, guys, if you click here, learn more about client updates, it'll give you a really great article with screenshots on how to do this as well, if that might be helpful. Now, I'll click Save Changes on the very bottom right. All right, so I went ahead and clicked Save Changes on the very bottom right. Don't forget to do that. All right, so again, that is a required step in order to turn on these client updates. You will need to go in and turn that on for each individual opportunity. By default, nothing will go out unless you come into Client Updates on the top right and click to turn that on for each individual opportunity. Okay, you'll see the opportunity name on the top to show you which one you're turning on. Um, lastly, I'm just going to show you how you can add, you know, one checklist item to a specific opportunity uh, in order to complete it. So if it's specific to just a one transaction, like a client asks you to do a specific task, 
You can add it to the checklist, and again, they'll be notified via that client update email that you've completed it. So uh, to do that, I'll come back to my opportunity pipeline by clicking on the handshake icon on the left side of command. And then click on the opportunity phase to get to that opportunity and simply click on the opportunity. Oh, sorry, I lied. In this case, we are actually going to click on the um, checklist number on the bottom right of the opportunity. So whatever your number might be, zero out of five or how many items you have. Once you open that up and scroll down, uh, you'll see add item. This add item seems to pop up intermittently, so try refreshing your page if you're not seeing add item. But if I click add item here, you know, I could put in an item like, I don't know, watered their flowers. So for realtors, there is no end to what you get asked to do as a realtor for your clients. So let's say they're out of town, they ask you to water their flowers. So you went ahead and want this to be a client update for this specific opportunity. So there we go. All right, so there's the watered flowers. And once it's done, right, I can go ahead and check that off. All right, and I'll put a little uh, mail icon here indicating that it is going to send out that notification to your client that has been completed. I can click close. All right, guys, so if you have any questions on this new feature, please do not hesitate to reach out to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you like this new feature.